What's going on, print fam? If you're new, my name's Cam. Welcome to The Print Life. Today, we're gonna take this opportunity to update you on the Print Life shop management software. We've been cruising for, I think, three months now. It's been going very well. We've been debugging, adding features, making changes requested by the early adopters. Now, it's running stable. But that's not to say that we're done with development. We're, we're continuously adding new features. We have a bunch of stuff that we're working on right now. So let's keep getting to keep getting better and better. There's a little note, we're adding features to, uh, to allow you to quote embroidery jobs. We're also adding vinyl and signage options and stuff like that. So we got more stuff in the works. It's all coming soon. But today I wanna take the opportunity to show you how you go about generating a quote for a client and then how you would get that quote to your client specifically if you're not using the WordPress plugin. Um, actually, you can still use this even if you're using the WordPress plugin. This is just uh, one of the two methods to getting quotes to your clients. So I'm gonna do a little screen share action right now and I'm gonna walk you through the process. This is very simple, this should be a quick video. If you have any questions about it, pop into the comments. I'm out of practice, I haven't made videos in a while. All right, let's do this. So the majority of you who are using this should already understand how to create a quote, but I'm gonna do that quickly. Um, I'm actually gonna do a time lapse through this so we don't spend a bunch of time on it. So come up here. Once you get to the final print price, the, you, you've essentially generated the quote, right? You can see right up here for 36 pieces, uh, two color, standard Plastisol ink, the price would be 270.63. This is our price, not necessarily what your price would be. But the question that we're finding, which it's very simple, but I think some people are confused as to how to do this. So I want to show you how to do it. The first step, once you've generated the quote, is you need to save it. In this case, what you're going to do is come over here to our actions menu, the three buttons. You're going to click this and you're going to hit save quote. Now from here, you can add a new client. You can get their basic information or you can save it as a guest. You can also search for an existing client. In this case, we do have an existing client that I'm going to add this to. So that's, that's what we're going to use. So we've, we've got the client in here. Now we're going to assign this quote to the client. Now this is uh, essentially saved to that client's account. If you have the WordPress plugin installed, then the client from this point could also log into their account from your website and they could see the quote that you've saved to their account. If, however, you're not using WordPress, there's a slightly different option. Uh, there's a different way for you to get this quote to them. And it's very, very simple. Uh, in this case, you're gonna come back over here to the actions menu and you'll notice some new uh, features have been added after you saved it to the account. The one you're gonna use is the email. And you can see that it auto populates the email of the client's account that I saved, which in this case is this email right here. Um, if you saved it as a guest, you can also just put whatever email in here to send it to them. Uh, you'll type a subject. In this case, I'm going to put test. And then here, this is the thing. In the message text field, what you're going to do is come down to this drop down and you're going to select order URL. What this is, is the button uh, that's going to be placed in the email so that your client can get the email, click on the button and it will open the the quote for them to view. So I'm going to insert that into the message body right here and then I'm going to hit send email. Okay, the email has been sent so I can so that closes itself down. So now we're back here. Now let's go to that client's email and see what we're working with. So you can see right here uh, the email, the test email has come through. So imagine this is the client's account, not my personal email. So we come in here and you can see right here that there's a view print project button. So the client would get the quote. You can put whatever text in the body you want as well. Like here's your quote, please click the button to view, something like that. When they click it, they're going to be greeted with this. This is the, the public version of the quote that you generated for them. So they don't need any account. They don't need any login information. They can view everything you've created for them right here. Uh, if they want to, they can scroll down and they can make the payment right here from this button. They can select their shipping options. They can select their address, all that good stuff. For the client to pay it, they have to pay it in full. Okay. If, however, you are you you work with them all the time and you typically charge them fifty percent up front, you know, and then the remaining when they when they pick up, you're just going to do that for them over the phone from here. So you'll come back to their da your dashboard and you'll come to make payment. Uh, you'll you'll reassign it to the client. You'll select shipping. You'll select whatever pickup option, whether it's you know free shipping or whatever it is that you do. Uh, in this case, we're going to do local pickup, and then you'll hit next. 
And whatever form they're paying, whether it's a credit card or cash, you can just come right in here to the amount and cut it in half. So 243, so by default, we're going to take $120 from them uh, as, a, as their deposit. So then you go to proceed to payment and uh, you'll be good to go. So hopefully that makes sense. And then you just go and get the remaining, you pay the remaining amount once uh, once they're picking up or once you've shipped it or whatever. So to get to create deposits or to take deposits, you're going to do it for them. We're going to process a cash deposit of $120. I'm going to hit process, uh, proceed to payment. And uh, now we have entered in to uh, the actual production process from the, the shop management. And just to show you what that means, let's go back to the dashboard. I should have showed you beforehand, but before this job card was not here, now that it has entered into our production process, the uh, the invoice or the job card has showed up here under the design column. Uh, you can see, you can filter out what needs to be assigned to a designer and a printer. You can filter what needs to be mocked up. And then you can also see what has been submitted for mock-up approval. Uh, in this case, this is the newly acquired invoice. So we need to assign this to our staff. So I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna hit the assign button and I'm gonna assign this to my designer. In this case, it's me and my printer, which is in this case myself as well. And I'm gonna assign staff. Now, once that has been assigned, we are in the mock-up phase and I simply come through here and I'm gonna upload um, a mock-up to the location. So the way this system works is once you've uploaded mock-ups to all of the locations in the project, it automatically emails your client telling them they need to review and approve the mock-up. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So let's just upload this image to, and we only have one location. If there were two, we would, up, we would need to upload images to both locations. Uh, but there we go. That's been uploaded. So now I'm going to close this and you'll notice that the status has changed to mock-up submitted. If I come back to the dashboard and filter, I can also see right here that the invoice is now here under submitted. And if I click here, this is what it looks like. Now let's go back to that email and see what it sent the client. So here it's, here's the email right here. It says, please review and approve t-shirt mockups for invoice. Blah, 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 one, yeah, right. So I'm gonna click this. And then this is my email. I put some cutesy text in there. You can make this, you can pretty much write whatever you want in the email templates. Uh, but the client's going to click to view the print project. And then this is what they're greeted with. So there's a big pink button here that says click here to review and approve mocks. They click these. If everything looks good, they type their name and they can approve it. If, however, they're looking at it and they have a revision, it says need to make a change, type your revision here. Uh, please make lower. And then they submit the revision. Okay. Now that the revision has been made, let's come back to the dashboard and see what we got. Uh, let's go to see what's been submitted. And you can see we now have a, a, a note here that's telling us that the client has made a revision. So we'll click this and we can see, please make lower. Once we make the adjustment to the mock-up, we come back in, we click right here, we re-upload, bada bink, bada boom. And uh, it's been resubmitted. Um, now what we'll typically do is you're just gonna come in here to reply and you're gonna say, mock-ups updated please review and approve and we're going to hit send when you reply to the um to the the quote or the revision request if you come back to the dashboard then you'll notice that the um the notification for a message is gone so the only way to get those messages to to remove the notification to be gone is to reply to the message so now that we've replied let's come back to the email and see what we got it says right here a comment has been posted click to view print project uh, you can see mockups updated, please review and approve. It says it right here in the messages. So the client clicks this again. Everything looks good. So I'm going to type my name in this one because I'm the client. I'm going to hit approve. And now it says mockups approved by Cam Irvin. It also says approved by Cam right here. We have proof that the clients looked at it and approved it. Now we're going to come back to the dashboard. Uh, let's uh, refresh this thing. Oh, goodness gracious. What have I done? There we go. Uh, now let's see that that particular item is no longer in the submitted category. It's now in the order queue right here. So now we are ready to order these garments. Uh, hopefully you guys kind of understand how the flow of this works. A lot of the steps and the notifications to clients are done automatically. From here, you're going to come into your uh, product. You're going to come to your order queue 
And the order queue tells you everything you need to order for each brand. So this is the Gildan 5000 and we need to order ash in Irish green in these sizes. Uh, we're also working on some cool inventory stuff right now. So you'll know what you have in inventory and then the remaining balance, you'll know what you need to order from your supplier. In this case, it's SNS. So a lot of good stuff, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Other than that, that's the end of this video. Uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you guys know that you are the best in the biz. And for all of you newcomers just getting into the bit, into the biz, you're going to be the best. So hang in there. Keep pushing. And, uh, you know, get your shop in order with the Print Life Shop Management software. Peace out.